okay so uh, let me start so this is hypotenuse and this is opposite side and this is adjacent side So this is the relation as per the right angle triangle. So S square equal to so P square plus Q square. So magnitude of S equal to root of P square plus Q square. Okay. So in the same way, we can find out the uh, relation of this impedance, resistance, and reactance. So already we have we are familiar about this resistance and reactance. So this reactance may be XL or xc so here if you see this okay so if you see this uh, at a hypotenuse end so we are using z at uh, opposite side we are writing it as x and this is the imaginary element so imaginary part this is the real part so adjacent side we have written R. So based on this, so what is the relation? Z square equal to R square plus X square. Actually it, it should be JX whole square. So what is the value of J is minus one. Or you can use the letter I. I is equal, I equal to minus one. So minus one whole square becomes one. Okay. So that is why it is R square plus X square. Similarly, the same will be applied for here also. It will be j into q. Okay, so j square equal to r square plus x square. So magnitude of z equal to so root of r square plus x square. Okay, so what do you mean by this impedance? So based on this, impedance is the combination of real uh, real element and reactive elements. Okay, so from this we can identify the magnitude. So uh, if the power absorbed by the impedance or power absorbed in impedance is i square into z so just simply we can substitute this z value i square plus so root of r square plus x square so in watts because uh, impedance doesn't mean that only one resistor and one inductor or one capacitor will be there so uh, in further classes uh, we can use the kvl and uh, we can up uh, we can use different techniques and we can find out the equivalent impedance so that will be easy for analyzing the power or uh, we can analyze different parameters like voltage current uh, so voltage current and power so like this many parameters we can identify so that's about the relation of uh, real reactor and apparent power as well as impedance resistance and reactance Next, coming for this RMS values and average values. So this is also another important thing. So root mean square. So root mean square. So which is also called as the RMS. Okay. So uh, simply. Uh, by saying uh, without any uh, kind of definitions and all. So for easy remembrance, I can give a statement that, so this is the actual energy, so which is been, uh, uh, I mean, uh, compared with the DC. Suppose if we are supplying the AC. So uh, when any of the load or any of the appliances is supplied with AC, so then this RMS concepts come into picture, okay? and with this rms so we can uh, see so uh, we can value of dc current when flowing through the circuit the same can be valued with dc okay so like uh, this is also some other kind of uh, power which is being utilized by the machine or the equipment the actual usage of power by the equipment can be evaluated with the help of this rms value in case of ac 
okay whereas in case of dc we can go for this average value so the exact power consumption of the equipment or any device or any machines okay so can be evaluated with the help of this rms and average values so here are the values here so I rms equal to so i m by root 2 so I, rms represents the root mean square i m represents the maximum or peak value maximum or peak value so uh, or if we may write it as vp as the peak voltage and ips peak current okay so or we may write it as vm and im so maximum voltage and maximum current okay so 1 by root 2 value is 0 0.707 and here 1 by root is 0 0.707 okay so this is the value of so i rms and this is the value of vrms okay so this is in case of single phase ac okay so next the, that is about the average value so here if we convert the ac sine wave into dc so this is called as a rectifier operation rectifier operation okay conversion of ac to dc can be called as the rectifier operation so already i have uh, shown you this graph so this is the rectified output so which is the dc so this graph is called as the so here so there will be a converter so which will be the rectifier so input will be ac so either it may be a single phase or three phase so output will be dc so two terminal dc okay so the output generated will be like this rippled dc so this is called rippled dc and if we consider the average value so we can find out the exact dc power developed so that is useful for finding out the average value okay. next so already i have said so peak voltage or maximum voltage maybe the peak current or uh, maximum current so again so you can use this the same equation here so here the maximum current or the peak current equal to root 2 into IRMS okay and a VP peak voltage equal to root 2 into Vmax sorry VRMS okay so that is the relation of maximum voltage and maximum current so again if the last point I would like to say in this concept is in terms of graph if you ask me what is the maximum voltage and maximum current since we know that sinusoidal waveform is generated so this is the sinusoidal waveform so this is the condition for maximum voltage vp or vm okay and this is the it may be for positive half cycle or it may be for negative half cycle at one particular point so we may be getting the maximum voltage okay in the same way the current as well right so suppose if we consider this as the current waveform okay so this is the peak current okay if you ask me about peak to peak so here i did not uh, give the uh, importance of peak to peak so this is called this the peak current so if i call it as if i consider from this maximum to positive half maximum to negative half maximum it is called peak to peak i p hyphen p so peak to peak so similarly here if i consider from positive half max to negative half max so this is called peak to peak voltage okay so both the cycles we have considered so that is the difference of peak voltage and peak to peak voltage so next peak factor so the same what i have said right now so in terms of uh, definition so maximum value to the rms value okay so 
let us uh, solve this simple problem here. I hope already we have done with this. So this is a simple circuit. So by this we can say that the uh, there is a source. The source is DC here. The source is DC here, and here uh, the load is a lamp. So considering there is only resistance in the load okay so that is uh, r equal to 3 ohms okay and uh, here uh, based upon the uh, supply voltage so suppose so let us consider it as a 10 volts okay so 10 volts i have supplied so here the circuit is closed so we need to uh, see the direction so we know that uh, the current always uh, flows from lower potential to higher potential so this is the direction of current so if you take any direction uh, if the result is plus okay if the current value is plus then we can assume that the direction what we have considered is correct in the same way if uh, we got the result as minus then the direction will be opposite like we know in sing uh, uh, single phase supply phase and neutral what is the difference between this phase and neutral the direction of current will be in opposite so in one way it will be in the in this direction in neutral it will be in opposite direction so only the, uh, the direction changes okay we consider this as plus and we consider this as minus okay in the same way for the dc also what i have said this is for ac and in case of dc so if it is a positive conductor and if it is a negative conductor the current direction will be like this when the load is connected okay so this is in case of dc so the magnitude remains same here the value never changes here whatever the direction if you consider the magnitude will be same the value will be same only the uh, parameter changes i mean the signal changes i mean the sign changes positive or negative okay so let us consider this as the direction of current so why we have to consider this is it always follows from lower potential to higher potential so minus to plus we need to consider so this is the way of assume the current direction because we don't know what is the exact direction okay if you consider this we can easily solve the problem okay so source is there load is there so the uh, there is a path okay then what is the power absorbed by this resistor okay power absorbed by this resistor i square into r okay so uh, we don't know about this i value okay so but we know this voltage okay so what we can do we can use the another formula okay v square by r so then we can write 10 whole square by r value is 3 ohms so 10 into 10 by 3 okay so 100 by 3 so this is the value of this power so power ab absorbed by this circuit Sorry, circuit in the sense actually the load since it is a single loaded element so power absorbed by the load is 100 by 3 in the same way we can find out the current because now we know the power value and we know the resistor value so obviously we can find out the current okay right so this is a simple thing next so let me uh, finish this three phase and single phase and three phase just i'll give the introduction of this single phase and three phase just for five minutes so single phase so before that what do you mean by phase again so already in the previous session i have explained you what do you mean by phase so any signal changes its magnitude with respect to time there is a continuous change of magnitude with respect to time so it can be called as a phase or it is also called as a rotating vector so what do you mean by a rotating vector so this is called see for different angles so there will be a change in magnitude okay the magnitude never remains same so that is why when we are operating with the dc we never call it as a phase there is no concept of like a single phase dc or single phase uh, three phase dc so just we call only this terminology this phase is called only for ac then either it may be single phase or three phase 
okay so coming for the single phase we know uh, it is a two wire or three wire system so what are the two wires in single phase phase and neutral suppose we call it as a three wired three wired system means single phase three wire in the sense phase neutral and ground so next coming for this three phase so what will be the phase r y b okay and if it is a three phase three wire system if it is a three phase four wire system so we call it as r y b neutral okay so this neutral may be grounded or ungrounded so that is different okay so uh, what is r y b there so in order to identify easily for these phases we call it as red yellow and blue okay so in some of the uh, uh, books or some of the uh, materials we can find it as a b c so they might be using these letters uh, this is one phase this is another phase and this is another phase okay all right so already i have explained about this single phase okay so what is the change of magnitude for the first half cycle and how the negative half cycle appears okay coming for this three phase so here the total cycle the cycle completes at 360 degrees so since it is a three phase so each phase will be having a phase difference of 120 degrees so how it used to be so this is the phase let us consider this as r phase this is as a y phase and this as a b phase so this is 120 this is 120 and this is 120 so total 360 degrees so this is the phase difference of these three phases okay so this is one way of representing so and uh, like this suppose if we consider the three phase load so this is called as a star connection so like this vr vy and vb okay so this will be the neutral suppose if it is delta connected this is r y and b okay so this is the phase difference here okay so that's about uh, the basic information of single phase and three phase so in the in further classes uh, we can discuss in detail so let us stop the discussion right now